Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make a coffee table for free. So a little while ago, we decided to get rid of our coffee table. We brought it from our last house and in this house, in the space it was going in, it was just a little bit big, just kind of took over the space a bit too much. And since then, we just haven't been able to find the right coffee table that we want to buy. So um, a little while ago, my friend had a big tree cut down in her garden. So I was like, ooh, can I please take a couple of bits of the, um, so the trunk was kind of cut into small sections like that, bigger sections, like all different size sections as the guy was cutting the tree down. So I took a big piece, a smaller piece, and an even smaller piece away with me from her house, and I am turning them into my coffee tables. So how the whole process starts off is you need to go around getting the bark off the sides of the trunk. So that can be quite tricky. So we used an ax, great health and safety right here. So Chris went round and just pulled away all of the bark off the trunk. So it took quite a while and there were like wood lice underneath and it was pretty gross, but he did it and as soon as that bark came off, you kind of see a real lighter shade underneath, which looks amazing. Once he'd done that, we kind of let them dry for a little bit overnight inside the house. We've got underfloor heating. We put a towel down on the floor and we let the underfloor heating get through up into the pieces of wood so they would dry. The following morning, they were a lot drier, but they still weren't quite dry enough. So we took them back outside and we did some sanding down because they were a bit rough around the edges. Right, so it looks like it's about midnight, but it's actually five o'clock and we've been waiting for these logs to dry for quite a long time so now Chris is just here sanding them down how are you getting on? Yeah. how's it going to feel? Oh, it feels quite good. And we also got a Brillo pad and a big sort of tub of water and I just washed the top surfaces down a lot. They were very, very muddy where they had just been sitting in my friend's garden. So I managed to get a lot of that mud off. So, but I also didn't want to get it all off because I like the rustic look and the fact that it is bringing outside, inside. So yeah, I did it kind of 80% but there is some remnants still on there which I actually really like. So after that we lit our log burner and we put the logs in front of the log burner propped up on some smaller logs underneath so the heat could get all the way underneath the logs and on top of the logs you know and we just kept rotating them round so the fire would really really start to dry that wood out. After one night in front of the log burner they were so so much drier. So I decided I'm just gonna bring them into my house and put them where they're meant to be and over time they will just dry out more and more and more as the underfloor heating goes up into them. So here are our finished tables. These were absolutely free to do. They were actually quite easy as well but the hardest bit was probably taking the bark off which I just kind of got Chris to do so for me it was very easy to watch him do it. And as you can see there are still some sort of damp areas on them and over time they will just get lighter and lighter and lighter as they dry out even more but they are pretty dry as it is and I also am kind of hoping they don't all just go the same color. I've dressed the two logs that we will probably use the least as little tables with books and candles and a leaf from the garden. I think it looks really really cute. As our house is kind of like industrial looking and our floor is wooden I think it goes with the decor really nicely. I am honestly so pleased with how these have turned out and considering they're free, I just feel so happy and so does Chris as our bank balance hasn't even noticed them. So if you guys wanna give this a go and you haven't got a friend who's cutting down a tree or you aren't cutting down a tree anytime soon, you can just go to your local woods and see if there are any bits of wood like this or you can even approach a gardening company and see if they're gonna be cutting down any trees anytime soon that you could just have a little bit of wood from. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.